Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to part 21 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the Monat house. Alrighty guys, and welcome back to some more Sims 4 gameplay. So currently, it is morning time in Candace in the last part. If you guys didn't watch all the way through, she actually got pregnant at the very end of the video. So yeah, she's only on her first trimester and she looks effing huge. Um, also, I need to apologize if you guys hear any background noise. It's my new... Um, like fans and stuff in my computer I need to figure out how to turn them down a little bit because girls and boys they sound crazy and I apologize for that and I will definitely be working on that for all of you today's like the quality test I'm filming this at like 3 a.m. so if I sound like I'm on crack it's because I'm on late night crack <laughs> when you stay up and you get crazy but it's all good it's the sims 4 it's totally worth it. I would have filmed The Sims 3, but uh, you know how long that takes to install? Years. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go ahead and have some, I think this is pan fried tilapia. Yep. We're going to go ahead and eat up all of that. And then we're going to go use the toilet. And when does she have work again? In nine hours. And Jose has it in three hours. So he's actually, he needs to go ahead and get up. And he's going to go use the toilet. He's pretty much ready for work. And uh, Candace, I think. Yeah, she's going to go ahead and... Uh-oh. What happened? What was that? I have no idea what just happened. All right. And Noah. Or not Noah. I keep calling him Noah. Drake needs to go ahead and wake up now. And he has school in what? Two hours. So he's going to go have a quick meal of cereal. Look at him. Look at my little man. I love him so much. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go ahead and come over here and use the toilet and shower up and do all of that morning goodness. And Noah's, oh my gosh, everybody's Noah. No, Jose is beginning to get a little bulky. I wonder why. I don't see him doing too much physical activity. Aww. They're so cute. Also, a lot of you guys said that you really like Candace's new hair. I'm still going to read some more comments so we can actually get a good depiction of whether or not you guys like it or not. I might even look for custom content hair. We will see. Uh, but yeah, I told her, stop watching TV. Go use the toilet before you effing piss yourself, please. There she goes. Cool, cool. And Drake, he needs to go shower. So Candace, you need to hurry up in there. I'm actually going to have him go ahead and shower before her because she has work and quite a bit more time than he goes to school. So yeah, she's going to go ahead and do that. He's going to come over here and take his shower. And let's see, what is Jose doing? He decided to make himself a little, a little margarita or something before he goes to work. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't ruin his mood because sometimes that can happen. It depends on the quality. And what's the quality? doesn't say huh weird but it's all good it is all good I cannot wait for her to have this baby because it's like our second baby I have to build on another room and hopefully it's a girl look at that belly though it's like going into her knees this is her first trimester that is insane we might even have to go ahead and change her outfit let's go ahead and do that shall we let's go ahead and change her plan her outfits and give her some new maternity wear uh, just to kind of spice it up a little bit because we have been wearing the same maternity wear the same outfit since our last pregnancy so i will go ahead and show you guys kind of the maternity wear for the sims 4 <laughs> i don't know it's pretty much everything which i like i really really like that you know you're not limited to certain clothing sims 3 sims 2 this one's a shout out for you. Sims 1, not you. You couldn't even have effing kids in that. You like, they just popped up. Um, but yeah, I really love that, you know, you can, ch you have quite the selection of clothes is what I'm trying to say right now, which I love, you know. Um, you can go in here and freaking put on your Princess Leia <laughs> costume or something. I love that. I really, really love that. Rompers, jumpers, whatever you want wedding dresses it really does not matter you can rock the pregnant belly and no matter what which i'm a big fan of because i just am oh look at her little belly in this one how does it look in the hot dog oh my gosh that is a lumpy wiener <laughs> okay so what we're gonna go ahead and do is i think we're gonna do oh my gosh 
Miley Cyrus. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> or am I? Oh, gosh. Stop. 16 and pregnant. Not even 16 and pregnant. 12 and pregnant. Uh, we are going to go ahead and put on... This is kind of cute, too. I kind of like that. But I'm thinking we will put on a... Remember, she's on her first trimester, so it's only going to get a lot bigger. I think we're going to do a tank top for this pregnancy. Hopefully, it will be pink because we're going to hope it's a girl. And for our bottoms, we will do... Hmm. I don't know. None of this seems very appealing. That makes her look, like, huge. Oh, <laughs> These are actually kind of cute. Okay, well, let me look in full body really quickly. Hmm. I really don't know, guys. Sorry that this is, you know, taking me forever in a day. It's just really hard to pick. Okay, we're going to go with the tank top. We might even put a different tank top on. No, I liked the other one. I'm sorry about this. Let's go ahead and put on a pink tank top. And I don't want to put anything like booty shorts on her because she is, you know, pregnant. I'm pretty sure pregnant ladies don't wear booty shorts. I mean, hey, some might not judge in here. Some sweatpants, yeah, some yoga pants. That's what I would wear if I was pregnant. Sweatpants all day, always. Uh, for shoes, we'll even give her some freaking slippers. Why not? Uh, for her sleepwear, we'll even switch that up for her. We will go ahead and give Candace, uh, you know, with Drake around the house, I'm sure she doesn't want to walk around nude. So we'll give her some cute little pajamas like these. Super cute. Ooh, this one's so cute too, but I like these ones more. Those are super cute. We'll do this color and we'll even give her some nice little slippies. Can I get them in the color I want? Probably not. We'll do them in white. All right, cutie. That is Candace's new two new maternity outfits. I didn't change every single one because who cares if we throw a party or, you know, go to a formal event. Of course, I will change them, but I don't think we will be. So no need to worry. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think she looks cute. All right. So, Candace is now in her maternity wear. And Drake is actually... Why are you so uncomfortable from cheap bed? He's really in a bad mood. I'm so sorry, Drake. So sorry. But, Jose, I actually want him to come over here before he heads to work. And can you check for more pen pals? That'd be awesome. Find a pen pal... Um, okay. And Candace, the mail hasn't come yet, but I, I'm pretty sure we requested more pen pal postcards and they just never came. So hopefully they do come. And what does she need for, her? oh, she's ready to get a promotion. So hopefully she gets it today and he actually needs to, oh, it goes to work in like 12 minutes. So hurry up and do that really quickly. He won't be getting his promotion today, but hopefully we can have him get it you know, pretty soon, and Drake's off to school as well. I'm going to have him go ahead and uh, make some friends while he's there. Look at Candace. Candace, you should not be drinking that right now. Candace, put that drink down. You should not be drinking this. She's like, but, oh my gosh, look who's at the door. Our personal stalker, Eliza Pancakes. Yes, Eliza. You are the stalker of the LP. Just thought I'd make that clear. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and, I guess, talk to Eliza. I mean, we're pregnant. She's probably, you know, wanting to talk to somebody anyways. Oh, there's Larry. Larry, why aren't you in school? He's like, bitch, because I don't gots to be. Well, my bad, Larry. Jeez. 
All right, we're going to debate some gaming strategies and flatter her a little bit. We'll be like, Liza, that necklace looks fantastic on you. She'll be like, thanks, girl. I've had it for like the whole 21 parts. You haven't even noticed yet. Like, was it from Tiffany's? <laughs> oh, and look who it is. It's Nina. Hopefully she joins in our conversation. She'll be like, oh my gosh, Candace, I didn't know you were pregnant again. Nina, come here. Nina. Nina. Okay, true. Big booty Judy, just walk away. Whatever. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go and continue to talk to Eliza. Uh-oh, what is this? Moments before a big launch. Ba 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 ba. Um... Okay, so the shuttle is acting up and blinking and beeping like crazy. It might be nothing, but it could also be a terrifying fatal error. Should Joe scrub the entire launch? Should Joe? Oh my gosh, can you tell it's 3 a.m.? Should Jose scrub the entire launch or let it proceed and hope for the best? We're going to scrub the launch. If That's just the right thing. Oh, Jose's bosses are screaming in his air. But the grateful astronaut inside the shuttle are glad that they made the safe call. Of course. Of course, like if there is a technical problem, you always stop it, especially if it's a, like a shuttle. That's hello. That's Challenger. If you guys don't know what that is, search it up. It's crazy. And I mean, it's history. So that's definitely always, always. All right, Eliza, you are talking our ear off. So like all we're thinking about is the freaking baby and Eliza's like police officers She's like, oh my gosh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Did the mailman come? I don't think, no. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Bye. I think what we're actually going to do is come in here. Hopefully the lights turn on. Holy crap. There we go. And we are going to cook some gourmet meals so we can, you know, improve our gourmet cooking skill. We are going to make some herb crusted or herb crusted, whatever you say, crusted salmon. And we're going to make a party size. All right. And hopefully, how close are we actually to leveling that skill up? Because I'm kind of curious. Oh my gosh. How old are we? Oh, we're still young adults, but still scary. Um, we are almost on a level four, so we will go ahead and cook a few dishes until we get to our gourmet cooking skill. Just, you know, to rise out. There we are. We're actually halfway to five, so we might as well cook something else. Um, we can now prepare. I don't even... Prosquito wrapped asparagus. I don't know what that is. Cool, though. That's pretty cool. Oh, food made by her also grants the delicious dish moodlet. Oh, true chef from cooking. A true chef is inspired to make every dish an adventure for her taste buds. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and cook another gourmet meal. We are going to make this. I don't even know if I said that right, but we're going to go ahead and make that as well. Uh, you know, just to increase our skill. And you know, leftovers are always nice too. We live in a house of boys, so I'm sure they don't mind. And here is the asparagus, which I love, love, love asparagus. I think it's probably me, one of my favorite vegetables. I really love Brussels sprouts, and people get so weirded out by that. I'm like, it's like mini lettuces or cabbages. And they're so cute. <laughs> All right, cool. Are we now level five? That'd be awesome. No, we're literally... We are literally at 99%. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We'll make a single serving of garlic noodles. Our kitchen is a mess. Okay, there we go. Candace has reached the gourmet cooking level 5. Candace can now premiere, premiere, prepare SimCity cheesecake. Ooh. Ooh, we can also make another cake. I, that's pretty freaking cool. I'm impressed. Cool. We're just going to go ahead and cook this real quickly. We actually need to take it off. Oh, shoot, that scared me. And our stove broke, which, I mean, I guess. Jose will have to repair it while we're at work. But we're going to go use the toilet and head off to work in hopes of getting a promotion. Uh, so, yeah, I will see you all after school and work and everything. Alrighty, guys, and Drake is now home from school, and he's actually in a really, really bad mood. He is very angry today. He had a 
annoying day at school. So he is, he is definitely not feeling it. Oh, well, actually, he's, he's feeling pretty inspired right now. But ugh, teachers can be so annoying sometimes. I feel you, buddy. I feel you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to let him go ahead and relax a little bit before I have him do his homework and work on his skills, which, by the way, super annoying super super annoying trying to get your skills up okay actually oh he's a social level five which means i'm gonna have him work on his mental skill today and he should be able to get his grades up tomorrow um which oh my gosh he's gonna be aging up in four days and we're still a freaking c student it's really hard and we still need to go dance for two hours which we're actually gonna go do now okay so like I was saying, we're going to come out here. Oh, the spooky channel is actually on. We're going to come out here and dance a little bit just to get that skill up. Or not that skill, but work on our aspiration a little bit. Oh my gosh. He's now angry. Poor Drake. Yeah, hopefully we can go ahead and get this in. We have danced for one of two hours. Cool. Keep dancing, boy. Get it, get it. Don't stop. <laughs> oh, and Jose is now home from work. Cool. Keep dancing. Yes, we did it. And now Jose is dancing. Um, so now to come. Oh, my gosh. That stank eye, though. That stank eye, though. Uh, to complete the next level of our aspiration. We need to achieve level five of the motor skill. Play video games for 10 hours. Oh my gosh. And practice typing three times. Um, we're going to go ahead and actually now have him head inside and work on his mental skill because we are trying to get that up. Uh, well, he's actually a little hungry, but you know what? I'm going to have him go ahead and do this now. Just work on it for a little bit and then he can go ahead and eat. Okay. And we're going to have Jose go ahead and repair this for us. Uh, because it is broken. And he also needs to clean the kitchen before Candace gets home. Just to make it a little bit easier for her. Playing with the motions. Sims can... Come on. Why am I... Go away. Go away with all of these. Alright, Drake. And how are you feeling? Still pretty hungry, but not hungry enough. Alright, and Jose fixed it. Cool. How close are you? Uh kind of close kind of not close i'm gonna have him work pretty much all night on this because i really 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 want to get this done um so we can get that you know that b that i've been wanting for like the longest uh, jose instead of bothering him how about you go ahead and like i said clean the kitchen up because it really is really gross um we'll put away all of the food that candace made and go ahead and clean everything else up So hopefully, I think I'm going to make him stay up all night if he doesn't. Because <laughs> I really, really do want that. And I love that, you know, they want you to work on all of these skills so young. Because, you know, as they progress and get older, they're going to have quite an array of skills. Which I think is pretty freaking cool. I don't know. I just like it. Because in The Sims 3, you didn't really think about it. You didn't really focus on it too much. I don't know. That's why I like it. But there we go. Let's go ahead and clean that up. Go ahead and scavenge for parts. All right, we'll go ahead and throw that away. Go pee. Go on. And Candace should be coming home pretty soon as well. He's doing the pee pee walk, the potty dance. Come on, Drake, you're getting so freaking close, buddy. I swear you can have dinner after you fit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> totally kidding but no he's uh getting pretty hungry and pretty tired but i'm just gonna have him continue to work on that for a little bit longer yeah we'll go ahead and have some leftovers we will eat up some i don't know some pan fried tilapia yep just go ahead and get that i feel so bad for making him work like this Oh my gosh! Okay, so she did get the promotion and now we have the choice, you know, to be a chef or a mixologist, which I wanted to be a chef. I think the mixologist would be a pretty cool, you know, job if she was single and, you know, doing all of that on her own. But 
I think the chef career is more Candace. However, I'm excited for when they release maybe a Bridgeport sort of downtown sort of town, if you feel what I'm saying. I will definitely have a lot of fun with the mixologist skill them. But I'm going to do chef. So, so yeah. now we will be working from 3 p.m. to midnight and uh, we get off Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and we make 52 simoleons per an hour, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we got a promotion. Let's go ahead and read about it. Uh, we, oh my gosh, holy shit. Okay, so we got promoted to head caterer. Candace has been promoted to head caterer. She will now make an additional nine simoleons per an hour. She also received the following bonus of 691 simoleons. We also received a mag magnetic knife rack. And her next shift will be on Saturday. So holy sh why so big oh my gosh candace looks huge huge can we get a picture of her in her outfit oh my gosh <laughs> she's huge wow okay anyways drake are you almost done buddy i i know you want to eat you want to go to the bathroom and you want to go to bed i'm such a bad parent i really am I just want him to finish this. Yeah, he's feeling uncomfortable. You're you're almost done. His parents are in bed and he's like, okay, you, you can go eat now. All right, Jake has reached level four of the mental skill. I know, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. All right, so he's going to go eat now and he's gonna have some apple pie. And he should be good to go to get his grade up tomorrow. And then he's going to go to sleep. And when he wakes up in the morning, he will shower and do all of that good stuff. Alrighty, guys. So I will see you all in the morning. Alrighty. So good morning, guys. Currently, I'm having Jose look for some pen pal replies. Oh, I have a, a new pen pal from Sunset Valley. Oh. I remember when everyone and their mothers used to live in Sunset Valley. Times have changed. Cool. We're actually going to go ahead and um, ask for a... Lucky Palms. No, we already have a Lucky Palms postcard. We actually need to write to them. So what we need to do, uh, socialize, write to Sunset Valley. Um, write to... What else have we not received? I think we haven't received a... Yeah, we need a Appaloosa Plains, a Riverview, and a Sunset Valley. So hopefully we can get those sent to us. I would really, really like that. All right, so hopefully they write back now. And look at this pregnant mama. Holy freaking Bojangles. I don't even, she's getting huge. Second trimester, not even full term yet, and huge. We're going to go ahead and clean the toilet. And definitely, pretty soon, there will be a nice big house upgrade because they've been doing really, really well with their jobs. I'm really impressed. But what does Candace need for her next promotion, actually? Have five friends. Oh, and we have zero. Lovely. Um, That's definitely what we're going to have to go ahead and do today. Is uh, And we also need to make five large orders of grilled cheese sandwiches. So once we're done eating, I'm going to have her go ahead and do that. Is go ahead and cook. A lot of grilled cheese. Or she's going to do it now. That's fine. So we're going to have a lot of leftovers. And <laughs> they're all going to be grilled cheese sandwiches. And Jose actually needs to win two chess games. But he has work. Oh, he doesn't have work for another two days. So I will have him head to the park, actually. And kind of go play some chess with everybody. But we'll switch back over to Candace. I just want to get him there. And unfortunately, Drake has school today. I wish it was a Saturday so he could go with his dad, but it's not. But I also want him to get his little grade okay, up. cool. So he's going to come over here and play play with Ural. I think that's his name. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he's going to come play some chess. And we're going to go ahead and switch back over to Candace. Right, and we are back to making grilled cheese sandwiches. And Drake is awake and he actually needs to go shower. Oh, it's a freaking Saturday. I thought it was a Friday. 
Friday. It's a Saturday. Oh, I'm disappointed. Now I'm going to have to wait the whole weekend. And I made this poor boy starve last night to get his skill up. I feel so bad. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, yeah, we'll have to go ahead and... I can't believe it. I read the freaking times wrong. But yeah, he'll maybe hang out this weekend. Relax. But Candace, I'm pretty sure, has work today. Yes, she does. Oh, we have three out of five friends, so we only need two more friends. I was like, I thought we had more than that, but all right. No, we only need two more friends, so that's cool. Candace, don't eat them. Go make more. She's like, what am I doing with my life? Girl, you just having fun. Oh, look at him working on his mental skill. He's actually going to go clean this up over here and uh, draw a little bit. He's going to draw some vehicles. And what does he need to, to get this up, actually? Practice typing. It's sort of drawing. Go over there and do that. Sorry about that, buddy. Practice typing. All right, only one more order of grilled cheese until we are done making grilled cheese sandwiches. And we will probably not make them for a very long time. Oh, and he reached level three of his motor skill. That scared me. I thought there was a fire going. Hopefully he's out there playing chess, or not chess, but chess. We're actually going to have to switch back over to him in a second. Okay, awesome, awesome. So the next thing to get our inspiration up is to cook 10 meals while inspired and earn a silver medal at a dinner party event. She's like, I have a kitchen of grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> Let's take a picture of that, actually. Cause we literally have a kitchen of grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't want to get the stink in there. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and switch back over to um, Jose really quickly. See? And that's, you know, you can't leave them here because they literally stand there. He's going to come over here and join this guy's game so we could freaking get that done. Look at Nina running over here. Not Nina. <laughs> Katrina running over here like, hey, wait, hi. Let's win. Come on, Noah, win. You need to win two games for that promotion. So you better do it. Oh, now we're playing against this girl. He's focused. All right, logical move from playing chess. <laughs> you better win. Look at everybody's chiming in. Oh, and Candace actually needs to go to work, so. Hopefully she does that. A build skill. Oh, he can go tend the garden. I'm going to have him go tend the garden. I'm going to have Drake tend that freaking garden. I'll have him out here in a little while as well. Hopefully he wins. All right, did we win? No. Are you kidding me? Oh, we'll play with Nadine. She probably won't beat us, right? Can you move? Like, literally Nadine is telling you to move right now. Nadine's like, listen, just because I'm small doesn't mean I am weak. <laughs> He's like, yeah, okay, Nadine, sure. Play chess. Stop talking to everybody. Just play. Look at Jose thinking. She's like, come on. Hit me with the best shot. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. Would you go away? Honestly, go away. Come on, beat her already. All right, we won one game, woo. All right, we're going to go ahead and play one more game with Nadine. Oh, I think she's leaving. Oh, we reached level four of the logic skill. Um, we're going to actually have Drake come here now. There he is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Nadine has to pee. Look at her. All right, I'll let her go home, but look at her. So cute. And he's going to... No, don't go talk to some random guy with a beard. Go over here and play on the playground with all the other kids. All right, come here. Let's play. Oh, and he's feeling embarrassed. Oh. <laughs> okay, come on. Play and win. Please, Jose. Please, Jose. 
I don't want to be here anymore. Oh my gosh. Play with... Let's play with another little kid, I guess. We should play with Drake, right? Play with Drake. Not you. Go away. I literally said not you. Go away. All right, come on. I just want to finish this up now. This is taking forever. Hopefully this little kid doesn't leave on us either. We're feeling very focused again. Okay, we just like glitched out. I give up. I give up. I don't know why this is not working. We'll have to try it again in the next part. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. It wasn't too, too much going on. It was more of skill building and all of that stuff and everything. So, I mean, it was still fun for me. Hopefully it was fun for you guys. I will see you all very shortly. Uh, with some Sims 3 and more Sims 4 gameplay. But until next time, I love you all so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. <laughs>